Right now, we are following new developments about the mother charged in the death of her one-year-old son. Thank you for joining us this midday, everyone. I'm Katie Collette. And I'm Don Roberts. Miranda Gilbert had an arraignment hearing this morning. Matthews County officers charged her after her son was found face down and unresponsive in a bathtub last week. Tony Sides, Andy Fox is in Matthews County right now. And Andy, what happened in court this morning? Well, a lot of things have been happening. Miranda Gilbert has been in jail without bond, and she was and is arraigned on now four counts, four felonies, including murder, homicide. Now, this was her in court earlier. If she was looking for a family face, she entered the courtroom. She did not find one. No one from her family was here. She asked for a court-appointed attorney, got one. More disturbing facts came out in the criminal complaint against her that she admits to leaving her one-year-old son in the bathtub alone. She told us for five minutes. As a result, the child died of severe burns to his face and body from scalding hot water. The medical examiner has deemed the death a homicide due to inflicted temporal injuries over the period of time. Investigators also found her mobile home in the presence of rats. My and cockroaches, rodent feces, and waste was found in areas where the children's diapers were stored. We spoke with the Commonwealth's attorney who will prosecute this case, and we also spoke with Miranda Gilbert last week before she was arrested. You, I want people would leave me alone and be considerate about how I feel about this. I don't want people all in my face right now. Can you tell us how the uh, child was left in the bathtub? I left him for five minutes. You know what? Get out of my face. Social services will be asking for temporary custody of the children and they will either then uh, be placing the children in foster care or finding a, another suitable family member to place the children with. And that is Matthews County Commonwealth's Attorney Tom Bowen. Now that hearing is set for 1230. It is a very secret meeting. We may not, we will not be told what the results were about the two children and where they will get their custody. We do know that Miranda's mother has been in custody, has had the children custody with the children, uh, but that is now in doubt now. The children were taken away from her. The Commonwealth's attorney told us that he would have fought bond. The bond hearing never happened at all, and the preliminary hearing for Miranda is on April 4th. So a lot of things, Don, going on in this case. There are a lot of complicated things going on, and we are now dealing at 1230 with child custody. Again, Miranda's mother was in custody of the children. They were taken away. Now social services calling for a hearing here to figure out exactly in whose custody those children will remain. That's the latest from Matthews County. Guys, back to you.